Hey guys, it's Bao John with Preview. Hope everyone is having a good new year so far. So recently I see a lot of videos about these CarPlay device that you can just buy. So uh, just a bit of background, I have a 2015 Honda Odyssey that we love. And uh, the only issues was that when we bought it, CarPlay was not available as an option. I think it was one or two years later where that was an option. So for me, it's been a few years and uh, there's like an aftermarket option that's quite expensive, like six, $700 and you have to do a lot of modification. And that one use your existing screen. And then I saw a few of these online and I uh, saw a lot of people using it. They were a little bit expensive, but now uh, they are pretty affordable. So there was like a dozen of them on Amazon. I decided to go with this one here. Uh, this is a 10.2 inch uh, one from a company called Pudofo. Pudofo, yes. So what it is essentially is one of these Android box uh, or, or tablet screen, if you want to call it that. And it can run uh, its own little OS with a few different things, but then it also run car. Uh, Car CarPlay and Android Auto. So uh, this is what it coming with. At the time of the review, I bought this for it was like a hundred bucks, but it was like a thirty dollar coupon, so roughly about uh, seventy bucks or so. And instruction is quite simple. You just have to plug this into uh, the cigarette adapter, come with a twelve volt, and that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So just keep in mind, this is one of the many options that you can buy online. So they all claim to do basically about the same thing, different screen size, some of them are widescreen, some of them are more 4x3, I picked this widescreen one, I never used this one before, or heard of this company, so let's take a look. Oh, actually it's 10.26 inch, a funny model number right now. User menu, pretty basic stuff. Got a unit to sell, open that in a second, let's see what else on the box. Look like a long 3.5 millimeter audio cable. This is the uh, cigarette adapter. Supposedly this is 12 volt, let's see. Yeah, this is 12 volt to 24 volt. And actually no, it output five volt. So this one's only five volt. It's 12, 24 for the cigarette adapter. And one thing that I noticed in this one immediately, it doesn't have the extra USB port that some of the other one has. So a bit disappointed. So one thing to note it here, even though it's output 5 volt, it is 3 amp, so quite large. Let's see. And then it has this little um, silicone mounting plate that you can put on. Uh, my plan is to mount it using a little clip I have in the car. So let's see how that works because the Odyssey has kind of a high dash. So if you put this on top of the dash, it's kind of blocking the middle of the screen. So a uh, middle of the, the windshield, so I'm not sure how to do that. But let's take a look. Uh, the unit, wow. Really large here, as you can see, the screen's quite large. Uh, bottom it already come with look like a pre-installed um, sticker as he said piece uh, some of them has the viewing camera but again I plan to mount this a little bit low so I decide not to get the one with the uh, camera and actually the camera price was about the same uh, so that's interesting got speaker here we got a power button up top and then on the side here look like we have a type C input 5 volts so this is great I can probably just use one of my other uh, USB-C since this is only 5 volt and then audio in uh, I guess that's for the additional camera that kind of thing SD card and then auxiliary out so let's see uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up in the house real quick just to play around tonight and then tomorrow I'll install it and use it for a while plug in powers on I think so let's go ahead and paddle. oh it's already power on there it is yep this is the one I saw online and you saw that roughly about 15 20 seconds I guess not too bad home so that's the home screen and uh, let's see how responsive this is not too bad gotta give it a little bit of a touch there is a screen protector on here brightness control midway right now volume is kind of loud yeah yeah like that and then let's go ahead and go to can i arch this back up i think i can yep I'll just leave it here so for carplay i need to turn on blue my iphone and connect to that i'll do just off camera I see it, I'm gonna connect to it. I'm gonna pair it. Go ahead and sync the contact and everything. All right, I think that was it. Use CarPlay on my screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. On the iPhone, that's what it's saying. That's it, wow. Impressive and fast. Oh, I didn't realize CarPlay also have uh, stuff like that. Oops, I 
think I accidentally opened my garage door. Great. So uh, this is the, look like the home screen button to take home to, yep. Okay, so skip to yourself. All right, so here's CarPlay, blow out my destination and stuff, but here's a lot of information. I don't think my wife had that much uh, music on here. Uh, we have map, we have Google, we have everything here. Uh, what's in setting? Oh yeah, pretty typical CarPlay stuff. So there it is, Telegram, Domino, random drunk like that. And here's the one that we like to use, Vietnamese music player. And has all the stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and just test it out real quick and see if we can play something. I'm gonna have to mute some of this for copyright reason, but let's see. I don't hear any sound, so let's go ahead and see what audio output is doing. Oh, it has all these other features here. Let's see. Audio output, here's the option, that's where it is. The speaker is played out here, okay. And you can do Bluetooth, aux, FM radio, stuff like that, okay. Um, let me go back. Let me pick one of these playlists and press play. Yep, it's working. All right, guys, I've been trying this little Apple CarPlay device for the past few days. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Uh, so first of all, the mount that come with it, I did not use, but I seen a lot of other video online. It does come with two sticker pads, so you can use that, and I think that works fine. But for my own purpose, my Honda Odyssey has a screen here, which is used for the backup camera and a few other information. A touch screen here to control a lot of things, so I didn't really want to block that. And so uh, if I put it here, I would have blocked that screen. If I put it here, I think it's too high, so I decided not to do that. And this is the spot that I put it. Um, again, um, pardon my redness of cable, but it does, this one in particular used 5 volts instead of 12 volt, And it used 5 volt 3 amp, so all I have to do was just use one of these adapters that can do multiple uh, output. And I connect here, just uh, right now a standard, what you call, iPhone charging cable, USB-C charging cable here, just to test. And it works fine. Uh, most likely, if I make it more permanent, I am going to run a uh, angle plug cable. Uh, speaking of the angle plug, the port in the back here, um, there's a micro SD port right here. This port is impossible to get to. So in general, to use that port, you're going to have to kind of wiggle the device and get a micro SD card in there. And getting it in there is one thing, getting it out is also kind of tough. Tweezer or something like that, that's helpful. Uh, but other than that, let me just show you the unit turning it on. Uh, again, I'm using a... Um, what you call an adhesive mount to mount this existing adhesive that is connected to my CD slot. And this is really good. This is for an iPad holder, but I'm using it for that purpose. I'm going to show you right now turning it on, how long it takes. So I'm going to press the power button one here. So I have my personal phone right here, you can see. And it's right out and we're going to wait for this to boot. A little bit bright right now. So that's how fast it is to uh, power on. However, it has a little bit of a delay at the beginning. It's still loading stuff up in the background, is my guess. So there you go, it's switching to car player. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna blow out some of the information here about my, my personal place, but it's gonna play music right now, uh, automatically. And what is it, I'm playing some DJ music and that's coming from uh, basically my uh, phone. And my phone is actually Bluetooth connector here. I have tried the FM and I have tried uh, the AUX. The AUX is, I have an AUX cable down here, uh, really noisy. So the AUX has a lot of feedback. I do not like it. And the FM uh, didn't work for me for some reason. I tried to set it to a station. I've probably used the error, I don't know. It didn't work really well for me. Uh, but I use a few app here. My music app that I use a lot, uh, Asian music app, I like. Uh, browsers here, message, uh, map, etc. And really good to get home. To the other screen you just press this button and take you back to here um there were some issues with me using let's see it was i think it was the uh, apple aircast it works but i think what it does is it asks you to join a wi-fi and i think you in carplay mode is also kind of like connect to a wi-fi i know bluetooth is a starting point uh, but it has some conflict and later my phone will not connect so my solution was just to delete that wi-fi uh, and use this. So for the AirPlay, I can connect my iPad or something with, but honestly, the use case is not perfect. 
you can just play video on here. In CarPlay, obviously, you cannot play any video, but if you want to play some videos from VOC or Infuse one or the other the app, um, you can use the uh, the LPlay. Again, not really my use case because the screen's really big, and if I'm doing that in the car, I might as well just have my wife, whoever is watching it, just use the iPad. Much bigger screen, much better anyway. So for CarPlay, it's really good. The screen and the responsiveness of this device is pretty good. I would say it's not perfect. Um, definitely, there is an improvement that we can make. Uh, I would say, from my perspective, uh, you do have to give it a little bit of a force. It's not so light like on your phone, so there is a bit of, um, you know, force you have to give. So yeah, but in terms, when I say response, I think I'm thinking of speed-wise, it's decently good. And these are some options here. Uh, but yeah, uh, this just give you an idea though. So I would think it's a pretty decent device for the price. Now, one thing that you are considering, maybe I want to buy this device, stick in an SD card and do some, um, what you call it, watching videos. Um, it support MP4 and it support like AVI. It does not support MP5 or any of the new, you know, uh, format. So it didn't really work that well. The MP4 format works and you can access that from here, uh, media player. Uh, so yeah, I need to disconnect that. So to disconnect, you just gotta go to here, Bluetooth, and the device is called, where is it? Right here, T86, and you can also rename this. Uh, you can turn it off here, and it will disconnect from here. Uh, you can see now it's not connected anymore, and that's the screen that you get normally. Sometimes it will kind of come back on, so it's kind of a bit frustrating, but anyway, a media player. This is what it looked like. You can click on video if there's an SD card. Currently, there's not one in there. I didn't. I stopped using it because it's not that good. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the other aspect of this device. So, like I say, the response is good. The turning on is really good. Um, I think the screen is very good quality. I think it's an IPS panel. I, f I look from various different angles, and it looks pretty good from various different angles. The sound is quite loud, as you can hear. I currently have it array. Let's see, where are we? We are putting about that loud. Uh, again, um, maybe for those different reasons, but normally I'll put it through the car anyway. The CarPlay is through the device and the audio out is through my Bluetooth, which work well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I think for about under $100, I think these devices are quite good. Um, I did not test the Android Auto because I do not own an Android phone currently. So if you want to know more about that, you probably have to check someone else's video. Uh, here's the audio output, as I mentioned, speaker. Uh, Bluetooth, which is what I'm using, the FM doesn't seem to work, and the AUX is, have a lot of really bad feedback, but that's generally, I think, is a problem. And normally, you have to get a device, they sell them online for like 15, 20 bucks to be able to kind of mitigate that. But uh, for my purpose, I use the Bluetooth, so it works well now. Now, a few other things to think about. This device, um, there are many other kind of similar devices with the, the 10.26 inch size screen. Uh, you can get this device in this uh, configuration. You can also get um, another, what you call, version that's smaller with the camera. Some other companies sell the same size with the cameras here, and then they also have an input. Actually, this one also have the input where you can hook up a camera so you can have up to two cameras. Uh, this device, obviously, you can only connect one camera um, for the dash cam, uh, basically. I don't have it. Uh, when I bought this, there's no camera. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely, if you're considering having it up here, the dash, and you want it to have a front-facing camera to record, you should get one of those other device. It seems like from the um, software perspective, a lot of them are very similar, uh, hardware-wise, look-wide, maybe the framing and the, and the design might be a little bit different, but it seems like all the softwares are very similar. So I think that's, um, that's something to look at. Uh, they also have versions that are not widescreen, but more taller, so like a four by three ratio instead of 16 by nine. Um, consider those, I just was just interested in this one. And this one is great if you are using the dash cam because you can split it. I've seen a lot of video with that, but again, I don't have a, a camera to really demonstrate that. Um, so keep that in mind. So yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty nice product for the price. Um, I think it worked well. Uh, some might not like the response of your screen as much as um, something like your smartphone or your iPad or whatever tablet. Uh, but uh, to me, the screen is really bright. It worked well enough. And for the most part, uh, I'm using it for navigation and, and music, specifically that one audio program I use, and I really enjoy it. Um, quirk, uh, if you want to connect to someone else's device, you might need to turn your Bluetooth off or forget it for the moment because it automatically connects um, 
to the device that is paired to. You can pair multiple devices, but it seems like you have to disable one for it to, to do the other one. So guys, that is my quick review of this um, Podofo 10.26 inch uh, CarPlay device. If you guys have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment box down below. If you like this type of content, um, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing for more future content. Thank you. Have a good rest of the year.